we're in this business to do business, not just for the love of beer. The love of beer is universal. So we changed the name um, on or about February, I suppose, mm -hmm. uh, to Phantom Ales on the brewery side and Phantom Cellar on the wine side. Okay. We noticed that all of the restaurants in our area were all selling the same exact sort of thing. It's a very stagnant business. Uh, a few years ago, we made the decision to start offering more craft beer from local or more importantly, California. people will come in and say, what do you have that's local? Do you, what IPAs do you carry? What uh, amber ale do you carry? What do you have that's nearby? Can I go and visit these places? You don't find that with spirit. In the craft beer market, however, there is much more opportunity for you to say, hey, try something local. Try something that came from nearby. So, try something that our neighbors produced. And it's, it carries more weight than it does when you're talking about a spirit. Um. Five, six years ago, the predominant patronage at a brewery were guys looking to go on fine craft beer and be a brewery. Now there's there's a kind of a broader wanting to experience the craft beer culture and we often get groups in where one or two people in the group aren't, they don't drink craft beer, they, they, they're Coors, Budweiser, for perfectly fine beers, to obviously by market share and such, <laughs> very well received. Uh, not in our wheelhouse, but I even I make a, I make a Dunkelweizen mm -hmm. that, as dark as it is, is low IBU and and if 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 you have someone play along with you and close their eyes and just taste it without looking at how dark it is and how imposing it looks, uh, I I only missed once. I missed this week. Otherwise, I'm I'm a, a thousand percent straight through. The craft beer market has grown so that when visitors come to a new area, they're very interested in seeing what that area has to offer. They want to find out what beers are being made locally that are unlike anything they've had anywhere else. And when you talk- It's not really so much about where we can sell the keg for the most money, it's much more about if we go to restaurant A versus restaurant B, the patronage of restaurant A looks a lot like our patronage, we want to be there. Uh, because we seem to fit a certain demographic a certain market demand. We have had a we have had a fair amount of increase in beer sales since we decided to go with more local and more craft style brewing. What I have found is that more people are coming in specifically to have that beer and then making the decision whether or not they're going to have something to eat. We're not advertising in the paper, we're not running uh, streamer ads on Google or, or what have you. We have the normal sorts of things in, Gel in Google and Yelp and that's, and that's great, but we're not running TV commercials, it's, that's not our business. We need pe everyone to come in to be our champion and, and be, have a great experience, a unique experience, and leave there being happy that they invested their time and their money with us. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what we're striving for and hoping that they bring their two friends and, and that word gets out. Since 1990, you started seeing the advent of local breweries and those few people that will take the risk of putting on a local brew just in the hopes that they will have local people that are willing to take that chance and then go and tell their friends, you've never had anything like this. You should go to this place and just try this thing. And whether or not that friend shows up, they show up again and then they bring a second friend and that person might tell another person and it grows more organically than any amount of Super Bowl advertising or uh, 
billboard advertising. It'll take a lot more for that company to do that, but it seems to work on a much more grassroots level. It's just, I think that's where the market is. I think that, that I think that this has become a very fun thing to do for folks who've never brewed a beer, have no desire to brew a beer, who've been to a brewery too, perhaps or maybe not. It's just, it's a it's a weekend thing to go do that's fun and interesting, and good, decent food. So we're trying we're trying to to satisfy what I think is the trend. So I suspect we're going to have a fair number of brewery neighbors here in the short term.